They keep shutting down my live. They keep shutting down my live. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism. They keep shutting down my live brothers and sisters. Mark Zuckerberg and the white power structure. They keep shutting down my live. They keep kicking, kicking us off the live. You feel me? Sister Shakita going twice. Sister Shakita going three times. Where you at, Sister Shakita? Sister Shakita, are you there? Still on cloud nine going once. Still on cloud nine going twice. Still on cloud nine going three times. Are you popping in? Key to key going once. Key to key going twice. Key to key going three times. Where you at, Key to Key? Hey. Hey, gorgeous. Where you at? What city you in right now? I'm in Atlanta. ATL. What is your take on the Diddy situation, Sister Kitty? They saying some black women say that even if he's not guilty of a federal crime, he should go to jail for his past misdeeds. Where do you stand? Um, I feel like he's not innocent, but he also not as guilty as they're trying to make it seem either. Like, I feel like it's a lot deeper than what we actually think it is. And I think it's like a huge conspiracy going on behind this. So yeah, it's, it's a little crazy. So do I. Why do you think the black community is so quick to take down their own in the public eye? We have no discretion when we attack. I can't remember the last time that's Attack a Mexican online. A celebrity, a prominent. I can't remember the last. Listen, I wonder the same thing. I have no idea. It's like all the time. And it's an ongoing thing in our community where it's like we constantly trying to tear each other down, constantly trying to come for each other. It's like once a person reach a certain amount of success, it's our own people just tearing each other down. And I feel like it just is deeply rooted i feel like and it's just systematic it's deeply rooted it comes from a long line of us just being misled to just be against each other and instead of just going for each other and sticking up for each other it's just constant bashing and just hate on each other instead of the opposition i got yeah. you thank you for uh -huh. tapping in queen i appreciate thank that you. Dude, I, All love right, you. Mama, I love you too queen be blessed you babe. Too. All right. Who tapping in? Who tapping in? A thousand bottles of baby oil. Some of y'all freakier than puffy. Some of y'all freakier than puffy. Some of y'all freakier than puffy. Luxury C going once. Luxury C going twice. Luxury C going three times. Is Luxury C tapping in? Where you at, beautiful? Uh, California. All right. Luxury C, what is your take on Puff Daddy? Some sisters say he should go to jail even if he's innocent of a federal crime because of his misdeeds in the past. Do you agree with that or do you think he should be set free if he's not guilty of a federal crime? Um, I, I think that they got a lot of... Um, they found a lot, a lot of evidence on him. Um, I just feel like, like what's done in the dark will come to the light. It, it's bigger than a lot of things we're looking at right now. Uh, they're saying he's probably probably involved with Tupac situation. Um, I feel like money can't always save you, but I also feel like, you know, it's just so much that we don't know. You know, he's not innocent, but also 
You know, he's done a lot of things, I believe, and, 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 and we got to look at, you know, not just normal people, but like celebrities, you know, children. Um, I feel like it is different, like, like with the R. Kelly situation, how they do our people and do us. But, I mean, I just feel like it just has to unwrap itself because a lot of people are, are starting to come out. A lot of people who look like us. So my queen, and I understand what you're saying about the initial question. I want you to answer that question. If there is no evidence or weak evidence of a federal charge, do you still think he should go to jail for his past misdeeds? Yes or no? No, no, absolutely not. But I, I, I know for a fact they they found lots of evidence. There's there's tapes. There's it's more than just baby oil. They found. Um, How do you know? It, how do you know this? Uh, because I listen to the uh, radio but every have, morning when I take my kids to school. Evidence, though, Queen. They haven't given us any evidence of sex trafficking. They told us about, about baby oil. They told us about guns. Uh, a few yes. people was coming forward, uh, celebrities, but he paid them off to be quiet. A couple of people was coming forward before it all blew up. And before he even got arrested, um, there were people starting to try to open up, but... You know, he got money, so I feel like a lot of things is going to start coming out. Um, I just, I don't think, I know, I mean, I'm not going to say he's he's innocent, but we just going to see because I feel like if they didn't have enough, they would have probably tried to let him out on the deal that he's trying to. But if they don't have evidence, of course, um, he should be free, I feel like, but I, I just, I believe there's too much they have too much strong information um to just let them go they got they got a lot of stuff you know um and it took them time to to get this stuff and i feel like with with p diddy it you know because they were talking about this since the beginning of 2024 so i feel like if you wanted to change anything you know, you could have started changing things, you know, your house in Miami, L.A., and, and, and simmering, simmering it down or getting rid of stuff and trying to change as a man. But, you know, now that you got everything rated, it's like they found and finding all this stuff. They're even surprised, like, oh, wow, you know, 800 dildos, baby oil. That's just the minor beginning stuff, like the photos, the blackmail. It, it's so deep, underage from Usher to Justin Bieber when they were kids. Like, it's so deep. And I just feel like... Federal charge, though. He's not being charged with, you know, doing anything with under eight. That's not one of the charges. The charge right. is state sex trafficking. Right. But with the sex, even with the sex trafficking, I feel like they may have more receipts on that because uh, what's her, Young Miami was saying stuff and uh, trying to cover... It's a lot of other stuff, Cash. People was coming out, women who were involved supposedly in that. So I don't, I mean, I ain't going to say he's innocent or they may have enough or not enough information, but if they don't have enough information to prosecute him, I absolutely think he should be free. Absolutely, to answer that question. Thank you, Queen. I appreciate that. Be All pleasure. right. All right, Mom. I know the media controls a lot of black people's minds, boy. The media is something. Where my girl Tiff the Gift at? Where my girl Tiff the Gift? Where you at, Tiff the Gift? Pull up on King Kong. Tiff, pull up. Yo. Where are you in, Tiff the Gift? Hey, I'm in Champaign, Illinois. Hey, boy, beautiful. How you doing? I'm well. I won't complain. Thank you, baby. All right. Where you at, Tiff the Gift? What's it? Oh, I'm in Champaign, Illinois. Champaign, Illinois. Where is your opinion, Tiff the Gift, on this Puff Daddy mm. situation? Some black women say if he's not guilty, he should still go to jail for his past indiscretions. Where do you stand? For what he's being charged for, I say. He may be guilty. He may not be. I ain't the fly on the water. So if he's all. not, but do you still want the, him to go to jail for his past misdeeds? The documents. You know, like the charges with Cassie and everything, he did her very wrong. So he needs, we got evidence. You know okay, what I mean? but answer it's my question, baby. Answer that. my question. If he's not guilty of a federal crime, do you still want him to go to jail for his past misdeeds, including the domestic abuse of Cassie? Are you okay 
with him going down, yeah. even if he's not guilty of the federal Cause if, crime. Because if it was me, I want him to be, I want him but can to I ask what, what's you a question? I if said, yes. Black, let me ask you a question. If black women care that much about domestic abuse, why do we have so much domestic abuse in the black community and don't nobody say nothing about it or oh, do nothing I, about it? I am, I'm very heavy. I grew up seeing domestic abuse violence, so I'm heavy against it. I don't allow it, and if I see it, I report it because I don't I don't get down like that. I can't, I can't, I cannot respect that. I don't feel like you're a man if you put your hands on a woman like that. I agree. It's one thing if you, if it's one, it's one thing if you're trying to defend yourself, get somebody off of you, but to just blatantly beat somebody and stump somebody out, wrong all the way. I got you, baby. Thank you for tapping in, sweetheart. Keep that beautiful Thank smile. Thank all you. right, mama. Let me get one of my brothers at. We're my alpha males. I need an alpha male. I need an alpha male. Big Brill, where Big Brill at? Big Brill going once. Big Brill going twice. Big Brill going three times. Where you at, Big Brill? Smoking a blunt. Where Law Daddy at? I'm going to say law doctor. I don't like to call men daddy. Where the law doctor at? Where the law doctor at? Where you at, King? What's going on, my brother? Hey, what's going on, Doc? Oh, How you doing, man? Where you at in the world? What city? Arlington, Texas, man. Arlington, but, Texas. But yes, South Central LA. South Central LA in the yes, building. What's your take on this Puff Daddy thing, my brother? Some sisters say even if he's innocent of the Fed charges, he should go to jail for what he did to Cassie and beyond. Do you agree or disagree? I I disagree with that, man. As an attorney, I, I mean, the charge is at hand. If he's found not guilty, you got a freedom man. Unfortunately, with the Cassie thing, that was pretty funny style because, I mean, unfortunately, the statute of limitations ran, so can't really bring that forward. But that just kind of shows you there was some kind of ill intent because they held on to that footage for a long time. Yes. That was so sketchy. That you know? was almost 10 years yeah. ago. Yeah. Now, as far as the charges, I mean, because I, I got the indictment right here in front of me doc as i was watching your live yes, and i mean they're saying here, here you know uh as far as the criminal enterprise you know he created a criminal enterprise whose members and associates associates engaged in and attempted to engage in among other crimes sex trafficking forced labor kidnapping arson bribery and obstruction of justice now they, you know, they I don't know any evidence of them charged and as a lawyer should there be evidence in that indictment or no no okay no so it don't have to be no, there. No, you're going to get that. We, the public, will be privy to that at trial. Okay. The only people only typically at that trial. Have, yes. And why, now, why did people, they seal his indictment? Well, well that's typically, because usually high-profile cases. Okay. But it's not sealed because I'm looking at it right here. The indictment's okay. not sealed. Now, okay. I'm interested to know, and this probably, you know, TMZ, they know people. I don't know who got those pictures of all the baby oil. I'm sure a lot of people seen all the baby oil in the in the. You know, that's, that's evidence. I don't know who got okay. that. The TMZ, you know, they probably work hand in hand with the government. You never know. But typically during the pretrial phase, that's only, the only people privy to it is the defense attorney and Diddy, of course, and the state. Or excuse so me. So they know the evidence right now against them. His legal oh, team, yeah. they know. Oh, yeah. Okay, they know. But we won't, know. won't see it until the trial. Correct. Now, let me Correct. ask you this from an attorney perspective. Federal trials don't allow video. So no, they said, no. how do you think that helps or hurts Puff Chances? In other words, O.J. Simpson, we was in the courtroom with him by television. Right. You feel me? Stage. Do yeah. you think the fact that the feds don't allow video camera and media in the courtroom, does that help or hurt Puff Chances of getting free? I don't think it'll uh, help or hurt. I think that would only help him in the court of public opinion because it's up to the jury. It's up to those 12 jurors and what so they, they think might, at the end of the day. might have a little bit more. They may have less pressure since. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, okay. so it could be a good thing. Yeah, that, that would be a good thing, pretty much. He doesn't have to deal with the, the public opinion. Oh, but the thing is, you know, we would just hope that there are honest journalists in there that are reporting what's going on. Ah, we at the mercy of the journalists. Because the journalists are still allowed in there, although the cameras are not. Yeah. Ah. Now, the judge can be shady and just completely seal the whole court off. 
under certain circumstances, typically with the high profile cases. Okay. But, you know, I think there will be media in there. There just won't be video, but there'll be journalists, I'm sure, and they're taking notes and they'll come out and they'll give their notes on what was said. And I think this is where we want to tap into our black journalists, you know, and hope they have the integrity to really tell us what's going on in there. And, um, you know, we'll just have to see what happens, man. But Doc, you know, um, the feds, man, I mean, they really don't lose when they go to trial. You know, they spend I know, years. but they got a 99% conviction rate. Yeah, man. They, they, they typically only do deals. That's about it. Dudes don't try to go to trial because more often than not, almost every time there are undercover agents and or confidential informants. There might have been undercover agents at the free calls that they didn't even know. They might have just been in the midst of it and they taping everything. You know what I'm saying? And they... They were saying, I was looking at the indictment, but I didn't see nothing in there. But typically, they, they got video. They're going to have his text messages. They're going to have everything, man. And, you know, sometimes they'll sit on that stuff for years. So when they bring forth the case to you, you your attorney's going to tell you, man, you need to, we need to work a deal out. Now, now, what do you make about the media lynching part of this? Because he's being accused of the racketeering, the interstate sex trafficking, you know, the criminal conspiracy. But all the media keeps showing us is the Cassie video and a thousand bottles of baby oil. What do you yeah. make of how, like, if he's on, if he's accused of this, why y'all keep showing us that? What do you make of that? I think that's a hit job, Doc. That's a hit job, man. You know how they do the brothers, man. That's a hit job. You know, and I don't know. And I was commenting on it while you're doing your live, but I know you see a lot of different comments. But, you know, unfortunately, man, a lot of these entertainers and athletes, they go under the tutelage. A lot of these deviant Hollywood white folks and they start indulging in the same things like Weinstein and, and thinking they're going to get away with it. Man, you forget that you ain't got the complexion for the protection. Rest in wow. peace, Paul Lee, that was his line. Wow. But yeah, you wow. know, and you know, the chickens to come home to roost, man. And you know, it's unfortunate, but I mean, all in all, Diddy is found not guilty, freedom man, right. you know? And I mean, at the end of the day, his karma or however God chooses to deal with him, that's how it's gonna get dealt with. But as an attorney, we gotta let the system play a part. And since we talking about that, I just wanna chime in one more thing, Doc. You know, like how we always say, you know, black folks get railroaded in the criminal justice system. I wanna say as an attorney, especially in the state of Texas, where they don't mess around, we, especially in Dallas, like we will have large jury pools with majority black folks, but a lot of black folks always try to find an excuse to get out of jury duty. Uh, we have to participate. Uh, you heard that? You heard duty. that? You got to sign up for jury duty. You have to. And, I mean, you don't sign up, right. you know, to get the summons. But you get that up. letter. Yeah, and when you get there, don't make an excuse to get off the panel, you know? Uh, like, try to get on the panel. You know, people say, I got kids, I got to go to work. They'll make up anything. And the judge always said, will that affect your ability to be, you know, um, fair and impartial? They'd be like, yeah, it's going to affect it. Because they know at that point, once you tell them you're going to be biased, they're just going to pretty much, they're going to strike you. So we got to participate in the jury process. That's I know it sucks point, sometimes, man. but That's if you want to see point. better justice, you need to go ahead and, and get try to get on that panel. Participate, I promise you. Like, wow. I think we can turn it out like that. Wow. Yeah, Thank Doc, I appreciate love, it. man. That was a lot of good education, I too, bro. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I'm going to try to get my podcast going, Doc. I want to try to get you on one day, Let me know. I'm ready. Let me know when you're ready. All right, All right man. Be safe, brother. brother. One yes, love. Sir. All yes, right. Sir. That was a strong brother right there. Strong brother. And y'all need to watch them disrespectful comments, too. Y'all a little too messy on here. A little too messy on here. Where is Sister Awakened Divine Energy at? Where is my Sister Awakened Divine Energy at? Where is my Sister Awakened Divine? There she go. Where you based that, beautiful? San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas is in the building. I Whoa. only spoke in San Antonio one time, and I want to come back to San Antonio, but y'all got to find me a place to speak at, and nobody in San Antonio has been able to find me a place to speak at. What is your opinion on the Diddy situation? Do you agree like many black women, he should go to jail even if he's not guilty of a federal crime because of his past mistakes? Where do you stand at, Queen? Um, I don't agree with the what Diddy did. I think he should um, go to jail for his past mistakes, yes. <laughs> yes. Now, why, why is that when you have other men out here, particularly white men who have more than Diddy and they never still Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. Could you repeat it again? Your question again? There's so many other men out here who are guilty of the they claiming Diddy 
and they have not, not been charged with a crime. Oh, um, no, it's not fair, but um, but it's just like what he did to you know all those innocent people. Just as a whole, it's you know he should have a punishment for that. But I don't think it's. I think everyone, every race, should be held account accountable. You know for what they did. Got it. Got it. Thanks for tapping in. Beautiful. Can I ask a question though? Sure. So. Um, I, you had mentioned that, um, you, you spoke in San Antonio, right? Yes. And you are currently speaking in schools. Yes. Okay. So I'm, I'm in Austin, Texas, and I go to Houston Tennessee University. It's the HBCU. It's actually one of the oldest HBCUs. I would love to got an invite. Are you the sister who sent me the invite? Yes. Oh. yes. Wow. Okay. So, uh, yes. when we want to make that happen, is somebody from the faculty going to reach out? administration or student activities or yes they uh we're working on getting them to reach out to you personally because you know it has to go out, it has to go through them first so please please if you can uh please come speak here at Houston Curtis University it will mean a lot make it happen okay thank you so much thank you for having me on no problem sweetheart That's not me. That was the sisters, y'all. I'm, I'm crystal clear. I'm crystal clear. Where Goddess Khadija at? Where my beautiful sister Goddess Khadija at? Where Goddess Khadija at? How you doing? Hello. Khadija? Where you at in the world, Queen? I'm in Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. What is your take on the Diddy thing? Some black women say he should go to jail even if he's not guilty of a federal crime because of what he's done in the past. What say you? Um, my opinion is he should, a person should go to jail when a crime is committed. Um, based off of what I'm seeing right now, the domestic violence part against uh, Cassie, he should have been arrested for that. Back. But that's not a federal crime. Um... Like you said, free calls and things of that nature. Unless someone can sit there and say they were forced to do these things, it's not a charge. Th those are people' preferences, and I feel like when the money ran out, that's when charges started to come. My personal opinion. That's very true. He's no longer a benefit to the power structure. Correct. Exactly, and we see that a lot. When when the payoffs get cut off, people start to talk. But when the pay, when they were getting paid, when they're when they're being financially compensated, it's all quiet. Got you, got you. So thank you. And I, why do you I think? Why do you think black show. women still? When, why do you think so many sisters want to see them in jail anyway? I think more so it has a lot to do with the fact of trauma. Like we see abuse in our communities. We see how a lot of times um, domestic violence are overlooked when it comes down to black women. Um, for me, a lot of the people that are his victims are not black women. Um, he's a bunny hopper. He likes to, you know, indulge in other ethnicities. So for me, I see, I mean, the Tim Porter thing, these are all allegations. And I think a lot of times what happens is we get caught up in these conspiracy theories online, and it's hard for us to dictate the truth from falsehood. Again, the casting situation, that definitely was a crime. That was a crime that was committed. But that's not a federal charge. Like I've never seen somebody get, I love you too, you baby. Know, be convicted on a federal charge for domestic violence. That's more of a state charge. So I appreciate you. Been you need to get my number it. then. Hold on, Queen. You got your phone? You ready? 215-989-9858. Shoot me a text so I have yours. Okay, gorgeous. Go right ahead. Yeah, beautiful. No, this is what I think. I personally think that Diddy should have been charged for certain things. Just not All right, King. I think he could have been charged for theft, um, robbing former uh, people that worked with him. It was a lot of things that he could have been charged for. Uh, even maybe conspiracy stuff, homicides. We don't know. But I just don't think that domestic violence for me has never been a federal charge. And living in D.C. where we don't have state charges, everything is federal. Um, I can see if he was in D.C., he would automatically go to the feds. But 
I just don't see, based off of the evidence that they are convicting him for, those are federal charges. And they're making it seem like it's some type of RICO type of thing. I mean, I've just never seen it. That's my personal opinion. I don't think that he should be in a federal court for those charges. Maybe state, but not federal. Well said, my queen. Thanks for tapping in, beautiful. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. You too now. A lot of intelligent sisters and brothers on here. I like to see that. A lot of intelligent brothers and sisters. I like to see that. Who tapping in? We're going to do a few more. The real Camp Melbo going once. The real Camp Melbo going twice. The real camp Melbo. How you doing, beautiful? Blessed be, brother. How are you Where doing? You that queen. I am everywhere. I am in my truck in a state I don't remember. You don't even know where you at. You might be in the <laughs> Colorado Rockies. <laughs> I don't know are where you in I'm the at. Midwest? Are you in the southeast? <laughs> where you at? No, I'm on, I'm on the east. I'm, I'm on the east. You on the on east, east coast. coast. What do you yeah. think about this Diddy thing? Do you think he should go to jail even if he's innocent of a federal charge? because of what he's done in the past, or where do you stand at? If he's guilty for the federal charges, he should go to jail. Um, for the other stuff that he's done, I honestly feel like people should deal with him personally in the street. But ah, where the street justice at? I mean, come on. Like, like him so bad, where the street justice at? I mean, for real, because furthermore, whatever is going on is so much bigger than him He's just a scapegoat for the moment. And a lot of other stuff will start to reveal itself, whatever it may be. I That's what I feel. But yeah, if, if, if a brother guilty, it'll come out, go to jail. As far as the other stuff, like sister was saying about the state, man, let the streets deal with that. If that stuff is too old and they can't get it, they can't get any charges on them, let, let the streets need to deal with that. We got all these internet gangsters. We need some real folks to come on in and come mm, out. I mean, that's, that's just me. Yeah. I so. Feel you quick. Why do you think so many black women like to? I don't want to say they like, but they want to see him crucified, even if he's innocent because of the freak offs and what he did to Cassie. And for me, I understand, but it's kind of a contradiction because we have so much domestic violence in the black community. Don't nobody do nothing about it. They don't call the cops. They go back to the men. Black men don't check the men who beat on our women, but we want Puffy to suffer for it. What is your opinion on that? Well, I mean, I really can't speak for all the sisters because I, I myself have already have a vigilante mindset. So I can't. So if a I man put his hands on you, you taking him out of here. Man, I'm, Ain't I'm no if ands the butts. I'm not playing. Oh, you're not no playing. You got the, oh man, you're not I'm playing. playing. I'm not playing. You're going to regulate the ass. You said ain't no domestic violence around here i'm not playing yeah and people that know me will know that so if you know you know but um yeah i don't i don't want to speak on behalf of all my other sisters and whatever because i feel like everybody is entitled to their own feeling you know their own opinion you know we know opinions is like assholes everybody got one and they're entitled to it you know what i mean so i don't want to speak on, on on behalf of them but i will speak on behalf of me see him when he get out if he innocent on the federal See him out on the street, period. I mean, it's real simple to me. So, do you think black women being armed will help cut down on the domestic violence? Oh, 100 percent. So, you but think I have most, found... most, most domestically abused women they are not uh, they are not uh, gun owners, true indeed. And and some of the women, from my understanding, that have been able to save themselves from domestic violence situations are also incarcerated because then you got to deal with the whole fact that you know the the police system they really not there to do anything about situations like that believe it or not i mean i i know that police are there to protect codes that's one thing people have to always know and understand the police are there to protect codes they're called the law enforcement i've been in situations where they're like well you know no laws are broken and I'm like, look, I'm trying to do it the right way because if I do it the way I want to, you're going to arrest me. But then guess what? I have broken the code. Now they have to come see me. Uh, they are there to protect codes. They are not there to protect people. And then once people start to understand that, they'll begin to start learning or wanting to learn the system. 
and then that's what the changes will start to come a lot of things are, are just so so taboo and, and misconstrued that it, it's you know but yeah I, I'm, I'm a firm believer in all women should carry firearms if they're not afraid of them you don't have to be afraid of them because they also have classes that teach you about firearms how to use them how to take them apart how to clean them you know what i'm saying so you know i i definitely believe that and if they don't want to use a firearm so many other weapons they can get you don't have to be <laughs> defenseless and, and unprotected out here so you know i I think if if more of them did that then that would definitely cut down on a lot of the domestic violence thank thank you for that queen thanks for tapping in that was some good wisdom absolutely thank you brother mom all right ladies get your weapons up brothers keep your hands down ladies get your guns brothers keep your hands down ladies get your weapons up brothers keep your hands down 